Hey, so the other day I recorded a video trying to help our clients who are presenting on Crowdcast and to give them a little tip that I've been using using Google Slides to try and help them present better. And then I realized, wait a minute, this is a secret weapon for anyone presenting on almost any platform. So I wanted to share with you how you can use Google Slides to level up your online presentation game. That doesn't mean you have to make them in Google Slides. It means that you have to use Google Slides as your presentation engine when delivering. Uh, I really believe that having control over your own notes and being able to see what comes next is gonna pick up your presentation game. So I really, really hope you enjoy this and good luck and go out there and lead loud. Peace. Richard Mulholland, I am the founder of presentation company Missing Link. And today I want to help you make sure that when you're presenting on a platform like Crowdcast, that you're able to see your speaker notes and your next slide. You see, in the years that I've been a public speaker, the one thing that to me separates the good speakers from the great speakers or the great speakers from the good speakers is your way that you handle your segues. And if you know what's coming next, if you know that your next slide is this, you can build up to it, you can get ready. Then when you hit that button, you don't even have to look back to see if it's happened. You kind of just know that that is there and you're ready to go. A beautiful transition, a great segue. It really, really makes a difference. So how do we do that online? Because typically what we just see is a screen in front of us. Well, I wanted to show you how you can make sure that you get your slides to work for you, uh, your PowerPoint or your keynote or whatever the like it is. So um, let me just show you around the platform here quickly. What we have is we have our, we're currently in the green room. Now, if you're in the green room, this is all super easy. All the setup will be done, you know, if, before the show goes live because we'll be able to set that up, we'll be able to make it happen and um, uh, that'll be fine. But, you know, when you go live, your slides will be perfect for you. If, however, you're the second or the third speaker, you're going to have to do that in front of everyone. So you're going to have to walk up, get your slides ready, and then just, you know, start speaking. But luckily, you can do a lot of the work beforehand. So let me first of all show you the kind of pre-setup that I've done. The very, very first thing I've done is I've closed all my other tabs, right? All my other tabs that I would need, and normally I wouldn't have any other browser windows open. I will just have open uh, what I need today. For me, that is uh, this. It's my Crowdcast window itself. It is a Google Slides and it's a WhatsApp group. And the reason I have WhatsApp open is that when we're running a show, we often have a backstage group going, and so we might be chatting to people and letting them go. Of course, you could also just run this from here. That's more that as part of our setup, so you could be having waiting to see when, you, when you're going on. So that's fine. Now, um, you know, I noticed that, oh, well, I told you guys that you could share Google Slides, uh, sorry, your PowerPoint or your Keynote, but then I said we have Google Slides open. Well, this is the most important thing, and Google Slides does one thing that the other web versions of the other tools don't do, is it gives you a separate presenter view, and this is the secret weapon. So all you do is you go and you say file, and you import your slides, and you import your PowerPoint file, or whatever the case may be, and you get it ready. And before the show even starts, guys, before the show starts, you want to be ready to go. You don't want to be sitting messing around thinking, okay, um, you know, when, when the show begins, I must get my slides. It looks terrible. You've all been in one of those webinars or live events, and then the speaker comes up and says, let me just share my slides and get everything ready. You want it to be slick and easy. So you're going to do a lot of the pre-work before you go on just like you would do in a normal gig. You would come up, you would test your audio, you would test your slides, you would click through your presentation, you know it's working, and you get ready to go. So before the show starts, I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna very simply go into presentation mode. So my screen is now kind of loaded, and it's ready to go. It's ready to go straight to the big screen whenever they need it. Um, you can see it loaded at the bottom there. I'm just gonna go down here quickly, because this is what I need, is I need to set up my preview monitor, and I'm gonna say open speaker notes. Now. I'll open my speaker notes. If you had written notes, they would appear here. That's great. I'm just going to close this on down. And um, that's fine. Move that across a little bit. Maybe just get it to the size I, I want it. I mean, that would be fine, but maybe I could get it a little bit bigger. No? Okay, cool. I'm going to move that to say about here. Okay. Then what happens is I'm going to come back to Crowdcast. I'll be sitting in the audience. And then the MC will call me up. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rich Mulholland. Everyone says hi. And then they say, like, hi, Rich. Yay, wee. And then they're coming and they're chatting. And uh, it's great. And I'm coming onto the stage. But now I've got to get my, my screen going. So I might be chatting to everyone and say, hey, everyone, thanks so much for having me. It's really, really great to be here. And as I'm chatting, I'm just going to go up there. I'm maybe looking straight at my camera. It's nice because you're looking at the top here. So you can get the camera anywhere. I'm going to hit share screen. And I'm going to go to my tab, my browser tab. Now you can see two views that I want to see here. There's presenter view. That means that's my little uh, preview monitor or there's the actual Google Slides itself with the show name here. I'm going to select that one. And I'm going to say share. 
It's going to take me there. Don't panic. It's just telling you it's sharing that there. Just click straight back to the tab you're in. And now you'll see what happens is that you can close this message and you're good to go. So your presentation is running. You can go through with the audience, but you don't have your, your uh, presenter view. That's okay. By very simply hitting the Alt tab or Command tab, that's the, the last window that was open. You can kind of bring this up to view. If for any reason you couldn't find it there, you can simply go up to where your uh, icon is, your browser window is, and call it up from there. Now I can see what my next slide is. So I can say, guys, don't worry. You know, I was just waiting back there in the green room. And you can see that as I'm changing my slides, the slides are going there. Um, it's very, very important. You understand that you please engage with me as a speaker in this platform. I really want to know that you're out there. So please don't forget to leave chats and comments. And, you know, if you do want to feel free to ask questions, there's a question area down there at the bottom. Oh, no, look, I pushed the questions. Uh, ship it. I want to get my speaker views back. That's no problem at all, because as soon as I lose them, I just hit Alt tab again and here it comes back. I might want to talk a bit about polls and share some poll data and go through these different things. Uh, um, and then, you know, maybe even I want to uh, uh, tell them about taking notes. I'm talking about taking notes. I'm going through this, but let's say I decide, oh, I want this, this particular one. It's got a lot of text on it. I want them to be able to read it. I could simply go up here and hit focus screen. It'll take a second or two, but as I'm talking, I'll carry on going and it will eventually come up big and I'm down in a corner. And then I'm going to carry on presenting. When I'm finished talking like this, I can go back to here and I can unfocus the screen. And of course, if at any given time I wanted to get my notes back, so um, all I do is I hit Alt Tab again. I am back into my my uh, with my presenter view, and everything is great. That's how easy it is. It is that easy to set up. It can feel super seamless if you've done the work beforehand and make sure you've tested. You can speak to your event organizer or if it's us, we'll help set it up for you. And then we'll just come in there and we'll set this up before you go. Make sure you've done it. Practice it two or three times. And once you have, you know you're off to the races. When you're done, you can close your video and you can just carry on presenting. And then when you're finished presenting to them, when you're ready to leave the room, there'll be a little X here. You can hit that X and you can disappear. That's it. That's how easy it is to present using your speaker notes on Crowdcast. If you need any help, feel free to pop over to at MS or go to at MSNGLNK on Twitter and we'll help you out or MSNGLNK.com and uh, drop us a line and we'll be sure to share some notes with you. Cool. All the best. Good luck and lead loud.